Soy Canela reporting for Kids First, and today I have the pleasure of speaking to Vanessa Buenavente, who plays Mary, and Abe Bueno Halad, who plays Big James, in the series The Chosen. We're here talking about season four, which is crucial in this series. So let's get on into the interview. Hi guys, welcome to Miami. I'm so excited to talk to you. Thank Hi. you. Thank you for having us. Of course. The Chosen has captivated such a large audience, over 94 million viewers worldwide. Super, I know, it's <laughs> breathtaking. And I think one of the, the reasons for that is the humanity and how relatable it is for it. It just connects with the audience in such a special way. So how do you maintain the authenticity? I think that that's something that we, we start from, from the page all the way into what we're shooting. Um, you know, I think Dallas chooses some amazing actors, if I can say so myself. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, authenticity and impact are kind of like some of the core tenets that we kind of go into trying to do everything from this show, not just the acting, not just the storytelling, publicity, trying to be authentic here. Of course. And we saw the behind the scenes at the premiere and the 900 acre set, which is home since season three, is incredible. So how fun is it to be in such a in loving environment and such a cool set? It's great. I mean, I think Abe can tell you more about it because I actually have not yet shot in that set. Oh, my God. You that, we need to get you on that set. I know. Like okay. instantly. No, it, it's incredible that. Um, it is another character, really. Like, uh, you know, someone should, we, we should put it on like at the end of the credits, just give Capernaum. We also have like a city cat, a cat that lives there and like we'll just like <laughs> randomly like go and kill mice. So it's a fully functioning city. That's what it feels like. Yeah, and has being part of The Chosen been a really transformative experience for you guys? For sure. I feel like, um, you know, as an actor, you really, you long to be a part of something that um, has not only entertainment value, but also can reach people. And I feel like, you know, we get messages from people from all over the world and it's mind blowing how, how big an impact the show has had on, on so many different types of people just from all over the world, all the cultures. And it's just incredible. Absolutely. And I think nowadays a tendency is to watch films from home, but I think this is really bringing people to the theater, which is super important too, as you said, it reaches yes. people. You know? Yeah, I think our fans um, are part of this cultural experience that we all have, which is like first it existed in the home during the pandemic and before actually, and then now we're going to the theater. So I'm really excited for people that haven't seen the sort of following that we have to get out in the theater and really experience what we've kind of experienced yeah. all these years. So pretty cool. Yeah, and do you have any cute anecdotes with fans? Because I'm sure so many people have reached out to you guys. And... Yeah. No worries. Uh, no, just, uh, you know, just randomly I was drinking coffee and sometimes you forget when you have the beer, but I was drink having a coffee at the airport and someone came up to me and they were like almost crying about the impact that the show has had on them. And you can't make that up. It's, it, you feel it. Absolutely. And so many people are so stoked for season four. What can they expect? Um, you know, there's some heartbreaking moments for sure. We are definitely approaching the end of this story and things are getting more intense. But I think um, on, online with, with, uh, with the message of the show, I think there's also a big message of hope, of um, uh, light against the dark, uh, and that there's some key moments um, that will also make you um, feel all all these positive emotions as well. Yeah, for sure. And I think you can really capture that while watching. And what is one of the hardest challenges you guys have had to face as actors um, being a part of this, this project? I think one of the biggest seasons, one of the biggest lessons for me this season was just learning that your strengths can also come back and be your own weakness. If you overuse it, you have to listen sometimes, not just like do, do, do. So good lesson for me. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for talking with me. I've had a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Zoe. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out The Chosen in theaters February 1st or on The Chosen app. Make sure to check out some of our other Kids First reviewers and reporters on this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.